This lesson is for the pianist who wants to learn to improvise hymns. Mastering this lesson will make your playing sound so much fuller. When I was about 12 years old, my piano teacher shared this same lesson with me, and it gave me an excellent start to improvising hymns. Keep in mind, the hymns from the hymnal are written for voice parts only, not for the instrument, so the pianist has to learn to adapt by adding more notes to create a fuller sound, which supports the singers. Now let me show you on paper what you need to add to create that full sound in your hymn playing. Okay, I chose the hymn, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. And if you look at the layout here, this is the vocal score right here at the top. I've added the piano score here to write in the improvised notes, the notes that we add to the song. We'll start with the right hand. You'll see this is soprano, alto, tenor, bass. I'll deal with just the right hand. What you do is you add the tenor note to your right hand. Then you're playing three notes all together. So come down here to the piano score and you see here's the given notes from the hymnal and I'm adding the tenor note from the bass clef onto the right hand. Next word is I and there's A for the tenor. I add A to the right hand. It's not the neatest writing, but... And then here we are on the next word here, and C is the tenor. I add C to... And that's all you do. Uh, here we are, C. Add C. What's next? D tenor. Just add D to the right hand. That there's only two notes, right? Well, the left hand's going to take care of that bottom note. So this is all we can add. That's all the room we have for right now. The next beat there, C is the tenor. Let's add it in. D. And then we have C. It's a half note, the tenor note there. So do the same thing. It'll hold through those two movements just like it does up here. And then C for cross, tenor note goes right to the right hand. Whoops. That's all there is to it for the right hand. I'm going to play that much for you so you can also see how the fingering works when you're adding that third note. the right hand alone with the added tenor note for a couple of days just to get used to playing what you can't see on paper before you try to add that left hand in. Okay now it's time to add or to improvise with the left hand to make it sound fuller. All you do is double the bass note. F is the bass note so you place your thumb on that F on the piano and then display another F under it. So you're playing an F octave. I'll write that in so you can see what's happening. Two Fs. You do the same on the next beat. You see F as the bass. Just play another bass, bass octave there, F octave. And then C, write in C. And then duplicate it an octave lower. There's your C octave. And so forth. That will create a real full sound when you add both hands together. Let me show you how that looks. Keep in mind, this is just the beginning of improvising. After you learn to do this style, three notes in the right hand, two notes in the left hand, you'll get comfortable with that, but then you'll think, there's more I can do. You know, you listen to church pianists and you think, they're doing more than this. Well, true, but we all started somewhere. This is where I began, so get used to this step first, and then in other lessons, I'll share some more improvising tips with you. Thanks.